Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have divided the user users concept into a separate module, right? But if you see in that code, if you see in the code, so if you see that one app dot module, okay, if you see this one, so there is no traces of users users concept. So here you will be able to see that there are, we are not using any users concept. And also, if you see that users module okay user dot module module and here we have divided this one so well and form right but now if i go to the app routing module if i go to the app routing module here still we are having some users component we are using edit user component so it would be better it would be better if we divide this routing also why because the routing doesn't belongs to the app thing it belongs to the user module so it is better for us if we divide whole the set into a separate module so including that user routing module and also the modules everything if we divide into a separate set then app dot module will be not having any uh, any 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 reference to the users thing so let's try to divide this uh, let's try to divide the routing also so that is related to the users thing so now dividing to this users thing what we can do is same as app module and app routing module we can also divide that one as users module and users routing module also or otherwise if you want you can write here only as a routing thing but it is a best practice to divide routing also in a separate file so that it will be better for us to the for a linear code and all those things okay so let's try to do the uh, divide the routing also for the users thing so before continuing to this video if you are coming first time to here please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that i will be posting more and more front end development courses okay so coming here what i will try to do is so let's try let's try to create another file user hyphen routing dot module dot ts so if you want wherever you want you can create that one so just i am creating outside only so here i can write export export class user routing module okay same in the same scenario we can write like this okay so in order to become this one as a module so what we need to do ng module so we need to write ng module and here it should be imported from the angular core so import from at the rate angular slash core it should be imported from the angular core what is that one so that is nothing but the ng module okay so now this is the first peg so what we need to do so here all the routes will we will be having so how the routes we will be defining so here you can write constant app routes or anything user routes anything user routes it is of type you know that it is of type routes okay so it should be imported from the angular router is equal to it should be an array of routes what could be what, what should be the routes here so you can go here and you can see that these are this is the routes which belongs to the users concept so let's copy these all the routes let's copy these all the routes and let's paste it here in the in in the user route so whatever the concept comes under the users you will you can be able to write here and what i can do here so let's do the all the imports user component and i can write this auth guard okay and i can do the user component is uh, it's already there no not there users component user component okay uh, whatever the things uh, you need to, you need to import you can import this one automatically for the uh, you can also click with the bulb icon that is showing at the end of the thing so here also you can see the bulb icon okay you can import that one okay so like this also you can import so i have imported all the files here now what i will try to do here now what i will try to do is so this one is completed now i can go to the user module i'm sorry user routing module so user routes is completed now i need to import what i need to import so with same app routing module so here imports we are using router module dot route for root and here here we are giving the app routes app routes is nothing but the main routes now as this one is not a main route okay user module user routing module is not a main route app module and app routing module is the main module okay these are all the feature modules so what we need to do is so we should do we should import router module okay router module and we should not give for root as it is not a main module it should not give for root we should give for child okay so this will be these root, all roots will be merged into the app routing okay so now for child and we need to give the 
routes so whatever the routes we are having so user routes okay so now we need to export this one okay so we need to use it uh, outside right so we need to export this router module so where we need to give this user routing module we should not give this one into the app module why because app module is not necessary for this one uh, not not necessary for this routing module it's not responsible user module is the guy who is responsible for this user routing module so these two are related and here app module app routing module these two are related so now what we need to do here user routing module so entire routing we have divided for divided a separate file for user right so here previously router outlet is not working for us you if you are able to see in the previous videos you will be able to see that router outlet did not work why because router module is not present in our user module so now router module is present in the form of user routing module so if we import this user routing module so there is no need for us to import this router module okay so what i will try to do is here user routing user routing module so i will be importing the user routing module so now i can remove the for router module so user routing module is necessary for this one so user routing module automatically what it will do it will export the router module so indirectly it is importing the router module and it is coming with the user routes so we have re we have removed the user routes here right so it will be merged automatically and now this user module will be going into the app module so these are these all are indirectly related so now user routing module is inserted into the user module and this whole user module goes into the app module okay so now this one is completed now here in the app routing module what we can do is we can remove these all the things so here we can remove so here here this one also we can remove and uh, auth guard service also we can remove okay and here uh, user react or deactivate it is also we can remove and here react to forms module it seems that we are not using okay we are not using so we can also remove this one all so so many things we have removed right so here user module we have removed and uh, here also so this is the thing we have divided now what we will try to do we have already included the user module here now let's try to execute the output now if i go here if i try to execute this one if i go to home and if i go to users see you are able to see that it is showing that page not found why this one is showing page not found if you go into the app module here the imports the way of order of the imports how you are writing is important so here imports first one is coming the app routing module so app routing module when it is coming first what it will try to do is it will check that in the app routing module whether whether the whether the routing is present or not the routing is present or not it will check here so the routing is not present and also it is the routing it is the root root means it is the main thing so here user routes is not present so automatically what it will do it will go to the not phone okay so it will not come to the user module so here only it has decided why because this is the route right so that is the final so what we need to do is so what are all the child modules are there we need to mention is top we should to mention a top so now what it will do here it when while checking the routing thing it comes to user module and here it in the user module it will check the router module okay here we are having again router module and here it will check the user thing okay here i found this one and also it is not a child okay so if here it is not found then it will go to the next thing why because it as it is a child it is not the route it will go to the next thing if if any if any other is there so if it, if it found here only it will open that one automatically now if you see if you go and if you see the output if i go home and if i go to the users now you are able to see the users thing so now you are able to see the users so now if i go here and if i interchange this one and if you go and if you open this one now you will be not able to see the users users will give become okay now it uh, let it refresh so now users if i open it will become the page not found what is the reason so the uh, way of order of writing the modules is the important okay so user module in the user module only it will find app routing module is the root it is a final okay so this is the order also is very important to remember so now we have divided the entire modules also into this one so users it will work so here these are all the things will work okay now if you check it again now directly or indirectly in the app module and the app routing module we are not at all using any component related to the users right so here we are not using users user edit user whatever the user components you are having 
we are not using in the app routing module and also in the app module also so then there is no need for us to export these all things why because we are not at all using any component related to this user edit user or users component we are not using in the app module so there is no need for us to import this one sorry to export these things so if ever we are using these components directly in the app module or app routing module means then we need to use it we are not right now we are not using anything right so we can remove the export thing then also if you go here it will work without any problem okay if you go here if i click on home if i click on users if i click on like this it will work without any problem okay so this is the dividing of the routing thing routing thing users routing thing so find the feature module also so this is how we can divide entire one section into uh, the uh, along with the routing and all those things we can divide like this okay so we have divided here user module and also the user routing module so this is how we will be dividing the feature module and splitting the modules correctly so you need to remember this common module use of this common module and also the user routing module when to export and when to import also you need to you need to understand this very clearly if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you